Thing of the day. He doesn't like it. He's gonna take his shoes off. Sissy. What? Piece of cake. Hell of a water crossing here. Let's see how he tackles it. Excuse me. Another successful water crossing without a soaker. Okay, here we go. Coming up the infamous Cure Sarge Pass. 11,200, I think. It's quite beautiful up here. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Yeah. So, the trail came up from there. Oh, it was a squirrel. I thought it was a pika. That's it. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place today. Actually, the climb up is not as bad as before. That's not good. Hey Eric, how you doing? Come on, you're used to that by now. This one was tough, but he made it through. Look at him, he's still smiling. It was a doozy. 11,750. Almost 12,000. So we did a 14er, a 13er, and almost a 12er. <laughs> Want to get you while you're happy before you start cussing at me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. If you need some water. If you need some water, get my, my backpack over there. Wow. You did it, man. That was a wow. That was a huge wow. It feels steep. That was pretty steep. Yeah. Give me some loving. Oh, yeah. Bring it in, man. Nice. Well done. Back you off the rock. <sighs> if you're patient, and you're looking at just the right place, you can see these little fish jump. Oh, there's one. All the way across the lake. I was hoping I'd see one closer. Oh, there's one there, but he's swimming away.
Oh, there's one right in the middle. Last night. Then I'm out of here. We're at 10,500 feet. <clears throat> Don't know the name of this lake. We just know it as the third lake with nice campsites up on the bluff to the left as per the X ranger that we met before we went up Kearsarge. Little fishies jumping all over the place. Must be feeding time. The sun is setting on my last day, Mike's last day of his first leg. It's a beautiful area to be spending out in the wilderness. 10,500 feet, drops all the way down into the valley below, where when we left it was 113 degrees. And I've been looking in this boulder field for critters, found a few squirrels. Was hoping for some larger critters. Saw a couple of deer earlier. This is rugged country. Good night, Irene. And I think this one here is Kearsarge Pass, right up there. And that's where Mike's headed tomorrow morning. It's a doozy. I went and got my vehicle, uh, Sherpa Max gave me a ride. Uh, it cost me 60 bucks and a $20, $40 tip. I was generous. And uh, I'm heading back to Strider's Place, Mount Williamson Hotel. And uh, gonna take a shower and get something to eat. But uh, 40 minute drive to think that we did 70 miles in the back country. It's crazy. Anyways, here comes the little town of Lone Pine. No, Independence. Mike's gonna be going through. And I'm about 15 miles south of Independence. And there is doom and gloom in those clouds, but they are beautiful. Just cruising down the road. doesn't get the weather that comes with the clouds. And I can see why. That is some beautiful landscape there. And this hill I've been on for the last five miles has already gained a thousand. It's at elevation 5,000, then it's at 10,000 or 6,000, and pretty soon it'll say 7,000. My engine was almost overheating. I had to roll the windows down, crank on the heat, turn off the AC and uh, hopefully we'll make it all the way up to Reno. Mammoth Lake Airport, Mammoth Airport, sorry. Watch out for the biker. A little bit of headwind today. Not a bad day for driving. I got four hours to do. So far I've done a little more than two. And it'll take Mike like two weeks to get here. Fine. That's okay. It's beautiful. Well worth every mile. So far, Mark, Mike's gonna walk. Times 10. This is probably only 15 miles here. He's gonna do this in one day. Damn. Approaching the ruby, three and a half miles away. Oh boy, it's getting serious now. Got a little reservoir over there, got crumb right there, got seek right there. A huge ass drop off there. Yep, down to some very low flowing water. But uh, we're getting closer. Second earthen dam 
which is the uh, official start to the ruby. And so far so good. Haven't broken anything yet. I think my lower ball joints are bad, but other than that, we're doing good. The staging area. And so, uh, I had one at Wentworth a few years ago. That, that's what I'm driving. You'll be fine. I'm, I'm hoping to be the here. first escape ever to go through here. I haven't seen, I um, have not seen one come through here yet. I have two explorers that are pretty well built on board. Yeah, yeah, the explorer. I, I'm not entirely, well, we've had our, our friend has an escape over at Wentworth Springs Campground. Yeah, I don't we know had, if that counts. We had a uh, Porsche at Wentworth Springs Campground. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Really <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. So you're, you might be the Take first. pictures. All right. Well, well I know. <laughs> I go in. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. Okay, here we go. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> hey, wh where do we get Rubicon stickers? Maybe the end of it. Hey, there's not a ride around for this section, is there? What's that? A bypass? No, it's not too bad. It's not. Oh, yeah? No. Oh, what are you driving? <laughs> I don't have much of it. Escape. Okay, here goes something on the Rubicon Trail. Woo, doggy! Ooh, finally here. Man. Took two and a half weeks to get here, and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to drive out of this place instead of be towed out or helicoptered out. No, none of that. And I'm not very good on off-camber shit, so I'm going up to the left of him. He's in the my way, isn't he? Yeah, there's the yellow marker right there. Yeah. There's a marker right there. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, no uh, yeah, look at this Tacoma. It's not that high up. Howdy. Did you make it no problem? Oh, you got all kinds of clearance. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck, I wish I had more clearance. I wish I had more clearance. You just gotta have a little more, it's a little more technical for you, that's yep. all. There's a lizard. Beautiful, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fucking A, man. <laughs> All the wheeling we did as kids. Oh, man. This, man. I remember reading about this Rubicon Trail and the Jeep Jamboree and Four Wheeler Magazine and everything, but never thought I would ever be here in a vehicle that ain't supposed to be here. Well, I was talking to this guy like a month ago, telling him I'm thinking about doing the Rubicon Trail with a buddy of mine. I can't wear glasses. Uh, I sweat too much. And he's like, you know, I used to go up here skiing on these back hills so I could see the Rubicon. I always wanted to do it. Right here. Listen. Nope. I made it over that one. That was like an eight-incher. Yeah. Okay, I also need your eyes because obviously yeah. a lot of times I can't see. And... Oh. But I see an orange marker. Which means There's it goes lot. that way you to the left. You see a lot of oil drips so going off straight. I think it's it's odd snow, right? So is that where this trail comes back in? Private road. Yeah. So we don't want that way. I think it's all this way. Hang on. Nice and easy. And then it looks like it goes over there. Yeah. But when? Oh, straight down. So if you go up to that way, you won't have to. Got this. It might high center, so go slow. Yeah, you made it, fucker. Oh yeah. See if I didn't trim that ten inches off the back. Uh huh. Stay high. Stay high. Yeah. If your bumper doesn't hit, you're good. If my winch doesn't hit, I hit my winch in Moab and it pushed my whole bumper in uh -huh. and it was so close to my radiator that my front uh, AC radiator got bowed in, but it did not spring a leak. So on those... Uh Automatic uh, Frontiers, they have a huge problem with the radiator breaking and contaminating your your uh, transmission because they're connected by a fucking cooler. And they said that it cracks all the time, but my manual doesn't. Ah. Uh. Man, I don't know what this crevice brings. Can you see in that crevice up there? No. You got a couple of feet on this side. Okay. There's a little boulder right there, but you're over that. One's like that right there. They're gonna fucking get me. Oh, did I mention how much you're gonna be jostled in the next few hours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like some people went that way. There's a lot of ride arounds. And I don't know if I can do this, so I might have to do that right around. Or that one. Um, yeah. I can't go over that one. <laughs> you 
you want to see if we can just go around? Here comes a bunch of shit. Um, yeah. Here, take this. I'll take the map. Got it. I might have to do that ride around on the right. Yeah, let's back up. You can go to your immediate right and get out of the way. Crumb, start filming! Like in the way yeah. Well, no, that's all part of it too. We want to get yeah. those guys too, you know. Howdy. Hey, how are you? Great. here okay just gonna be a little bump up that's it love it gonna try to make it through these guys are hardcore been wheeling for 40 years uh-huh yeah there's a CJ he's got a CJ did you see that it is a CJ painted fucking camo. camo. <laughs> Hand painted. With a spray can. <laughs> Whoa. How does my clearance look, Clarence? I think your vector is. Good so far. Will you, uh,. <clears throat> Tell me if I should be at the right or the left. It looks like I'm gonna have to be at the right. You're gonna have to at least get a run on yep. those boulders, right? Yeah, here. That last one seemed a little large, but I still didn't hit it, did I? I'm back here, not even close. Oh boy, I got this. Get Brent too.
Okay. Thanks. 